Hello friends, Heidi here from Rain Country. God is good all the time. And though I still don't want to focus on the deck today on my garden update, I just want to show you what's going on here with the grapevines. Is earlier than usual, they have taken over my deck and my blueberries and my apple tree. In fact, we had to pull the little apple tree out because it's wrapping around everything. And so what I have to do is I have to get out here and start hacking these back otherwise it makes it too dark up here on the deck and then make use of the leaves and so I have a video I did last summer about uh, the benefits and the uses for grape leaves and I'll go ahead and link to that in the upper corner there and you can check that out and look who's sneaking up on the deck Claire Okay, so I'm going to come out here today and focus on that section right over there on that side. So we've talked about this. My potatoes here, they're about ready. I'm going to be harvesting them pretty soon and then clearing this out and making room for putting more things. So that's the update on that section and then give my poor little echinacea back there more light. But now this section here is what I want to talk about. It's really coming along. Uh, this goji berry is doing okay. It's actually the healthiest looking one, even though it's the smallest. But I've decided that if my goji berries do not produce fruit this year, um, I'm going to pull them out and put something in its place that will produce. Because other people are saying they got goji berries, they got berries on theirs in the first year. And that's not happening. So I'm thinking this might not be the climate for them. But anyway, I want to look at... Look at these peas. I just, if you watched my last garden update, which was just a slideshow, you would have seen a couple of pictures of these. I'm just very thrilled with these peas. And now I've already forgotten the name of them, but I will put the name right below there in a the text so you can see it. Um, the, I just think they're the most beautiful pea plant I've had. And these are snow peas. And I'm anxious to try them, which will be very soon. Here's one here that's um, getting there. It's not quite big enough yet, but pretty soon I'll be able to pick those and add them to stir fries and salads. See another one through there, right through on the other side. But uh, I should be getting tons and tons real soon. And then uh, down here, all along here, are my tomatillos. And I've got a whole bunch more out front that I'll probably talk about in a different video. Some of this here, like there's one of the borage getting ready to bloom. I'm leaving a few of these, but what I've been doing, because the borage just grow, comes up everywhere and starts to take over. Uh, one thing I like about it is I can just pull it up and give the whole plant to the chickens and they love it. They love the borage. It also makes a great chop and drop. So I just let it grow until it starts overshadowing things. Okay, I decided to kind of get in close so you can see that because that shadow is making it hard to see. But you can see my runner beans, my scarlet runners. It's either scarlet, just the regular scarlet runner or the barnside sweet, but it's starting to get flowers. And I've got these planted, the Scarlet, the Barnside Sweet, and the Sunset Runners planted pretty much everywhere, all over the garden areas. But this one main area here, this section here is dedicated mostly to peas. And then here I had planted some of my purple potted pole beans, which used to be my favorites. But they're not doing well this year. In fact, I pulled up some of the plants and put some baby little small um, cucumber plants down there to see if they would do okay outside. So far they're not really doing anything. They like it better in the greenhouse. Uh, anyway, and then this lavender is the first one to really start blooming. Well, no, this is actually second. I have a smaller lavender plant that's blooming out front that's got the darker flowers that's doing really well. And then mostly more tomatillos, uh, some pineapple weed I'm just leaving. And these beans here, I don't know why they're so uh, growing so slowly. Usually by now they're much farther along than this, but they're growing and they're healthy, so that's good. And then the pineapple weed, I'll be harvesting and drying some of this for teas. Eventually, let me zoom in, it will be blooming here real soon, starting to. Pineapple weed has several benefits, uh, health benefits. It's tasty. I've added it to salad, just the greens as is, and it does make a wonderful tea. Very good for you. Here's that one calendula on this back corner that survived through the winter. 
and it's been giving me tons of flowers. It's still early in the morning, so none are opened yet, but I've just been picking them and drying as they go. And then my other calendulas, the, the new ones I planted this year, will be starting to bloom real soon. So that really does it for this section here. It's mostly just tomatillos, beans, calendula, oh, and some kale. This is some of the random kale that's been coming up everywhere and I've just been leaving it and harvesting on it. Let's get in close here. Let's look at one of these. You see the tomatillo flower right there? And then uh, it'll, you'll be, eventually be making little husks with the fruit inside. Very, very similar to the ground cherry. And there should be, I think there's some ground cherries out, out here coming up from two years ago. <laughs> Oh, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about this other section over here that I did a more detailed one on before, so you can see how it's coming along. It's my marshmallow. This is my tallest one here. Well, no, it's probably similar to this other one over here. They're pretty close in size. And I've been harvesting lots of leaves. The flowers will be coming on pretty soon. And there's my yarrow. This is my biggest yarrow plant. It's my oldest yarrow, yarrow plant too. And I've already, I've actually cut off a couple of, of the stems, the flowers, leaves and all. Have those in the dehydrator right now. And I have a video I did last year on the yarrow. I will go ahead and link to in the iCards up there so you can check that out. And look how healthy this lavender over here looks now. It's just doing really good. Oh, and this reminds me, the other thing I need to do is harvest some more lambs here. My bigger plants now are out front. But uh, these onions have been doing good, giving me plenty of green onions for salads and stir fries. And this echinacea, I keep cutting it back just so I could get lots of leaves off of it. But now I'm going to let it start growing, getting taller, and get some flowers on it real soon. Oh, and there's a borage right down there that started blooming. You can see the blue flower on it there. And yes, that is a random tomato plant that I actually stuck that there on purpose. Another calendula getting ready to flower. This looks like it might be a yellow one. I should have a pink one in here somewhere I'm really anxious about. In here close so you can see one of these borage flowers that's blooming. See how beautiful that is. And don't forget to check out my video on borage that I did last year. And the benefits of it for both your garden and for your own personal health. Okay, well, I think that's all I'm going to do on the garden update today. Mostly just wanted to focus on that section over there. And more videos to come on what's going on way out here and all the rest of this area. And I might do another slideshow. Let's see my catnip. See how pretty the flowers look? Now that you can, now they've actually given it a chance to start getting some flowers. So I'm still, I've actually been breaking off the flowers and drying them too. Well, I hope you enjoyed my garden update video for today. Thanks for watching. Take care and God bless.